in this video I'm going to show you how to edit one of your properties so we're going to stick with Ocean Breeze 13 because we have done Ocean Breeze throughout the other the video tutorials so now there are multiple ways that you can actually get access to the back end of this property to edit it so the first way is that you'll log into the back end you'll come be presented with your dashboard then you're going to go properties and all properties and then you'll be able to view Ocean, uh, obviously there it is there, and you'll be able to click edit. The other way you can do it is that let's say you're in the front end of the website and when you're logged in, you'll see you're, because you're an admin, you'll have this black bar at the top. And then when you go to your Ocean 13 uh, uh, property, in the black bar, you'll see edit property. So the way I normally like to edit it is that what I do is, is I've got the back end open which always stays open and then on the, I've got the front end so what I normally do is I go to the property hover over edit property right click and go open in a new tab and then I move it this side so then what that does is that is loading the back end of the pro uh, the property uh, the uh, property here and then I've still got the front end of that property now as you notice in the probably video tutorial, the other video tutorials, that your number here is only 079 when it's meant to be 079770 and blah blah blah. Right? So, what we're going to do is that's why I've chosen this one to edit it. So, to edit it's very simple. You're going to have to put your description in twice. The description goes for the property at the top here and at the bottom here. This is uh, for the front end. So, if I show you here, So the top description here is the description that they are going to read here. The description at the bottom here is the description that they read in here. All right. So we have to put it in twice, um, but that's simple as write out the first one, copy, and then paste down to the bottom here. If we scroll down a bit, this is your gallery. As you can see, you can literally just drag and drop reposition in the way that you want. Okay, if you want to add items, you'll click, uh, simply just click on the green, uh, the blue button that says add to gallery. You can choose another image from your library here, sorry, from your media library, or you can simply just upload an image. Or if you just want to delete an image, which we won't delete now, you'll just click that X at the top and then that will remove that image from the library. Scrolling down here, scrolling down, you see you've got your email address and your number. So if we just paste the number in here and we just put the so it's not going to show the gaps like that but it's fine it will show it on the front end and then what we do is we'll just click uh sorry we've added your number scroll down you'll put how many bedrooms this place has got how many it sleeps how many bathrooms these are your out of rate seasons and this is your school holiday rate this is your december from the first to the 12th and then from the 12th to the 31st right these are the features that it's got so if it's got a bright area uh, enough parking for guests or anything like that you just select them this is uh, your your check-in times your no damage to the property check out strictly 9 a.m no pets if they are allowed pets then they would link you would literally just select that right this section here is what i'll show you in a bit and then these are the terms and conditions so you literally would just if you need to add the new ones you would just click the x there and if we just click the x and we go add file we go to your media library because we've already uploaded it and we will just select it there and then click select here and then that is how you'd add your uh terms and conditions this section here now this section is the book now section so what you'll do is is this is where it gets a little bit confusing but it's simple so all you do is is that you would hover over products you would right click on all products open in a new tab okay let it open you'll go down to ocean breeze and you would click view which will then open up the booking page for ocean breeze 13. then you're going to collect that link and you're going to copy it and you would come down and you would paste the link in there right and that is all you have to do if we scroll up a little bit like this this featured image that you see on the right hand side is the image that you will see here that beach image there is the image sorry 
is this image here. If you wanted to change it, you would just click remove and then you'll be able to click another link that says add image and you could just upload a new one or go into your uh, media library and uh, select an image. Once you've done all of that and you're happy with it, you're just going to click update or publish. Let me see if it's a new one. There you go. Now, if we just go back to Ocean Breeze, uh, Ocean Breeze, we'll reload the page. You'll see there is your number there. Not too sure why it's taken the zero out. Scroll down. It's because I took the zero out. So if we click update and then we wait for the, the page to reload. When the page reloads, that means you know it's saved correctly. We'll just reload this page. And there is the number. Okay, so we will, I will get it that it shows the number for you. Sorry, the zero. Okay. And then if we scroll down a bit here, here is your out of rates. Here is the facilities, the house rules, this and that. And then if we click book now, you will see that it takes you to the ocean breeze. And that is how you would add an edit listing to your, um, sorry, that is how you'd edit one of your, your units on your website.